What's up YouTube? It's your boy Chabon Stunner and I've got another great unboxing for you. This is the Manfrotto 390 series uh, tripod and it's a little different than this tripod which is the 270 here. Hold on, let's see what it is. This is the 290 so we got a hundred percent better supposedly in this in this particular tripod and I picked it up because I needed something that had a smoother pan than that. This one is great for for um, shooting steel images, but watch when I try to pan it. See how, how jerky that is, and I have to almost lift the tripod up to make it pan. So that's just not cool. For, so for steel shots, it's good, so I'll use it for that since um, I have it, but not so good for um, you know moving shots for a video camera. So uh, the cool thing about it is, is that uh, I was able to pick this one up for $79 open box and I talked to the guy that packed it which is also really good so let's unbox it assistant grabbed this box which I got an assistant that, that didn't even know there was an assistant so shout out to him oh almost lost it all right we're gonna undo it and then I'm gonna tell you guys what I think of it uh, compared to the 290 um, I'm a big fan of Manfrotto products. I have a couple of their professional uh, tripods that I've used before and they're all really good. Uh, this one has the aluminum body type. Um, it has beefier legs if you can see here compared to the 290. Um, the same three interlocking system here and it goes out three levels, one, two, and three. Just to show you, that was one, that's two. Uh, stop spinning. And that would be three. And they just lock in by pushing that clamp back. So I'm gonna let this guy out. Uh, which one of these is extended? Yeah, just this one. Um, right off the bat, this one looks a little shorter than the other one, but we'll see in a second. They all have these rubber feet at the bottom. This one, somebody did use it uh, for probably a weekend shoot and, and brought it back to get the money. Nice play, nice play. But, um, you know, I'm going to hopefully hang on to it if it works. Pop this piece of thumb off, and I'm sorry I'm showing you guys so much crotch. Oh, but that's the way it rolls. Yeah, and right off the bat, um, I've only extended one level on the uh, uh, on this other tripod which I think is a little taller maybe it's two that's one nah but look at the difference in in size of these two so let me do we call this thigh cam uh, I'm gonna go one more level up which is probably what I did on that one that's right it's two levels extended not one Cause that makes sense because I was about to get scared and say holy shit this is a tripod for little people which I think is cool but I'm not a little person um so uh yeah I got it extended Ooh, let me get my ass off the floor Ooh, show you guys some stuff here uh first thing I'm gonna do is twist this little knob and Bring this thing back around and up so that the head is up. It's got a plate in here already, but we don't need that plate. Uh, we'll take that and keep that for a later day. And the difference is, look at how cool, how much better of a pull this particular tripod has as compared to this other one here. See, I can't even hardly make sure don't and I got a pretty heavy camera but I can't hardly even get this thing to turn I can get it go up and down nice and smooth but no left to right pan movement so that's just really no good for what I need out of a video camera but this one has really good movement it's got a bigger head as you can see if you look at the two heads together uh, and it's got a more comfortable knob I can do the rubber band trick and do some other stuff uh, let's see what this does. I think this just yep. That gives you that side angle shooting if that's what you want. Uh, it's got a lot better um, dial set up. One thing I need to do is to take this little 
thingamajig of this. Showing you about the the uh, actual tripod. We'll get into that in a minute. Let me move it back and let me figure out how to get. Oh, I think this does it. Yeah, I can get high. All right, cool. I'm very happy with the way this thing pans. It'll make doing my videos so much easier. Um, you know, there's not a lot of, of uh, trail ghosting going on, and I can pan if I want to get to this helmet. Woo, pan right to it. And I actually need to. What in the hell? I just saw something else, guys, and I'll tell you about it. Actually, I'll tell you about it right now because it makes sense to talk about it right now. Um, if you look at the particular clip here, it's got the lens going two different ways. On one side, it's got the lens going straight up, which is the way I mounted it, but you've also got the lens going to the side. That's the way we want it because all my controls are sideways and not directly behind the camera, which make it kind of odd to work with. Alright guys, so check it out. I got it mounted correctly, and as you can see, I'm goofing off here a little bit, but my pan and then is so much smoother and I can go down and up and down and here's a printer I'm gonna do a review on soon enough so just wait on that one but everything I mean I'm happy with this tripod a whole lot more happier than I am with the one I was using so this should make doing video work a whole lot easier and yeah I'm, I'm excited um, anyway let me know what you guys are using for a tripod um, you know, if, if, if you've only got like a, a, uh, Radio Shack portion, uh, uh, excuse me, Radio Shack tripod, that's what you got. You know, I ain't, I can't knock you for that because they, you know, you have to buy what you can't afford. But this thing, like I said, was $79.99 on, um, uh, open item. So I'm sure you guys can get that same kind of deal. Um, and it still had... Uh, they were nice enough to put the instructions back in even though they're open um, I don't care about those because I'm pretty well versed in the use of tripodomy um, Let's look at this real quick though since I'm here and I wanted to tell you guys about it This little pamphlet that came with it. Uh, it basically shows you the different parts of the tripod um, And it's got no slip rubber feet. We can talk about that. No slip rubber feet uh, extra was had large aluminum tubes, maximum stability. Wish they were carbon fiber, but you pay for carbon fiber. Um, high performance photo move head, quick release plate, love it. Let me know what you guys are using for a tripod. I'd love to know. If you're just propping it up on books, I want to know that too, because I may try it. Uh, that's all I got for this video, guys. This has been the Manfrotto 390 series tripod.